What's going on guys? Welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey. Last time my friends we completed the Sand Kingdom once and for all. Today we are going to be leaving this beautiful place and making our way to the next kingdom in this game. Otherwise known as the Lake Kingdom. We haven't been there since we beat the Lake Kingdom. We've probably been there once or twice in terms of you know other star moons and different kingdoms. But we haven't actually been there to collect power moons for this kingdom specifically. So I'm excited for this episode. If you guys are also excited, drop a like on this video and don't forget to answer the comment question of the day last time i asked you guys what zelda game do you like or would you like to see me let's play in the month of december and here are some of the responses we got today's comment question of the day is what do you want to be when you grow up for me when i was younger i wanted to be a pilot but you know obviously i'm not a pilot because i'm doing youtube videos it's funny how life works sometimes you know you plan for something and then you end up getting something else but i mean i'm grateful and i'm happy for my job and i'm glad that i have this job but you know if youtube doesn't work out in the future maybe i'll go back and i'll pursue being a pilot that's definitely something that i'd still love to do um i mean i've always been infatuated with flights and you know planes and you know just uh that whole thing but uh, I don't know, man. Maybe we'll see what will happen in the future. I mean, hopefully I don't lose a job or anything like the job that I have. But I know good things like this don't last forever. So you always got to prepare for something in the future. So we'll see what happens. But uh, I just wanted to quickly give a disclaimer to everybody who suggested Breath of the Wild for the Zelda game that you'd like to see me LP in the month of December. Uh, I'm just going to let you all know right now that's most likely, well, actually, it's not going to happen. And the reason for that is because I've already started a Breath of the Wild LP on my channel back when the game came out. Unfortunately, I never finished it, though, because the game is so long and it requires a big commitment. And I just don't have that commitment to beat the game. Uh, at least for YouTube. I played it on my own time, but I didn't actually do it for uh, YouTube because, you know, it's just such a long game, like I said. But uh, I'll be doing something else. Maybe one day in the future when the commitment's there, I'll come back and I'll finish the Breath of the Wild Let's Play here on the channel. But for now, we're just going to stick to some other Zelda game because, you know, there's a bunch of other great Zelda titles that we still have yet to play. Like, for example, Twilight Princess, a game I've never played. Wind Waker, a game I've never played. Uh, a Link Between Worlds, a game I've streamed once, like, in 2014 but i've never actually beaten and that game was really fun it reminded me of a link to the past except you know it was pretty it was a lot cooler in my opinion you could like do the whole mario mechanic thing in this game where you can walk in walls and whatnot in 2d mario link form it was pretty awesome man so i'm actually looking for a bird here where is this bird man birdie come show yourself it's missing i don't know where it's at but there's literally a bird in this area that you're supposed to you know hit in the face and then you're gonna get a power moon out of it for some reason it is nowhere to be seen this is oh there it is yo all right hey come here birdie no come back here i no i scared him okay how do i catch him now let's see i guess i'm gonna just wait for him watch what i'm gonna do watch him whoa oh no birdie stop it I gotta get him, I gotta get him, I gotta get him. Okay, this is this is actually good right here, the way he... Oh, come back here! No! Dude, he's too fast. I wonder if he's gonna land back there. Okay, thankfully, he didn't. Okay, so I have a second chance at this. I'm gonna wait for him literally right next to my Odyssey. I'm gonna just chill right in this spot, and then I'm gonna wait for him to make his lap again, and then I'm gonna hit him in the face with Cappy, because that's what he deserves, or she, whatever gender this bird is. Hey, what's up, birdie? Hey, you probably didn't expect that, but uh, I, I got it, finally. So yeah, I was literally trying to get this bird traveling over the lake. Pretty easy star moon to get. Again, there I go with the star moon. I don't know why I keep calling it star moon, man. It's not a star moon. Oh, look at this. Take picture of hint art. So go home and blah, 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 blah. And do that diddly dang thing. And you can get yourself a power moon. Let me actually take a picture of this one for real. Because I don't, I've never gotten this one before. So it's going to be located somewhere over here in one of these things. Um but i don't know actually so uh, let me quickly uh clarify they're not we're not going to be able to beat this kingdom completely and the reason for that is because uh some of the, the power moons in this game or in this kingdom specifically you need like outfits from other kingdoms and i don't have those outfits so in order to get those outfits i'd literally have to go back to those other kingdoms get the coins for them and then get the outfits hey oh i, I literally didn't even 
Oh my gosh, I had it lowered the entire time. And he still wasn't biting down on it. Okay, yo, here, I got some bait. Go ahead, eat it. All right, so he didn't do anything there. All right, there you go. Woo, shake the thing. Oh, come on, like a do. Get it for me. There you go. So we got a cheap cheap. So like I told you guys in the last episode, whenever you find a Lakitu, go fishing because there's always something in the sea for you. Oh, yeah. We can also do this, by the way. Let's go ahead and just do it right now. I'm going to make the biggest Goomba tower you've ever seen in your life. All right, Goombas, you trying to you trying to fight me? Ugh, dang it, dude. Well, that, that's that's they're too high for me to be able to grab them. But what you want to do here is you want to. Oh, dang it. See, that was my issue. You know why? Because of this stupid little girl. No, I need him. I need him. Oh, my gosh, dude. Come here. I wonder if one Goomba could do the trick. All right. I wonder if one Goomba could do the trick. I've always made towers when I went and saw the lady Goomba, but I wonder if this guy will be able to. Hey, how's it going, sugar? Hey, it worked. All she needed is one Goomba. Length doesn't matter. I always thought it was about the length of the, the Goombas, bro. But it's not. It's always just about the Goomba himself. She just likes his mustache and his hat, you know. Come on. They look like they'd make a lovely couple. Oh, hello, baby. Hello. Let's, uh, let's go get married and travel the world. Ah, just kidding. I'm not really a Goomba. You really thought I was a Goomba. Man, she thought I was a Goomba, dude. Not, it's kind of sad. For her, at least. But... Not sad for me. So, uh, this kingdom is not that big, as you guys could tell. But it is one of the most beautiful kingdoms in this game. And I absolutely love it. Uh, there's going to be a couple of fun star moons. And then, like, I want to say, like, one or two that... Again, with the star moon thing, man. I literally don't know why I keep doing that. Like, why do I always say star moons? It's not a star moon. It's a power moon. I just feel like any collectible in Mario should be classified as a star. When it's not really the case. It's not true. You can't discriminate against Mario games like that, you know? There's power moons, star moon, star bits. Not star moons. Is there, What's a star moon? I don't even know where I got that from, dude. I'm, like, fusing two different games together. It's kind of annoying, but... Anyways, you want to go ahead and uh, swim as fast as you can down here. It's a timer challenge. Oh, no. There you go. We got it. Wow, that was actually pretty easy. Lake timer kingdom challenge number one. There's also another one up here. Uh, I think there's a total of two or three in this kingdom. Um, I'm actually sh actually I think there's only two because I don't remember the third one. I would have remembered it if there was a third one. But this here is the second one. And obviously, when you do these things, you can't use Cappy, which is unfortunate because my boy Cappy here really hooks us up. Oh, my gosh. I screwed this up, didn't I? All right. Let's see. Can I make it? I'll, I can't make it. Nope. I won't be able to make it. It's unfortunate. You have literally just enough time to be able to do it if you don't screw it up. So if you do screw it up like I did, then yes, you're not going to be able to make it. But luckily for me, I didn't screw it up this time. All right. Come on, Mario. Grab it. Oh, wow, dude. As it was disappearing. Very nice. Dude, I like that. It's so thrilling and exhilarating, dude, for me. So now we are going to do something. Actually, we're going to do two star moons right now. Two easy ones. And these ones require cheap cheap. So we might as well, you know, possess this little dude. Hello, friend. Today is the last day you live. You have the last 40 seconds. Well, not really. This is... I'm going to let him go. I'm not going to kill him. Or maybe I... Eh, you know, I'm not going to kill him. That's actually kind of mean. I don't know why I would do that. So you want to surface up to the top. Dude, he is so slow. Bro, you got to swim faster, man. All right, there you go. And then you want to jump into this thing. So cute. Look at him. It's a cheap, cheap. Close range keenness. I can hardly stand the adorability. Blah, 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 blah. Give me this power moon. Thank you so much for that power moon. She gave it to a fish. Like what? That's like seeing a monstrous fish and giving him your wallet and asking him not to kill you. Like, is, is she crazy? Oh, crap. You know what? I totally forgot. I was literally going to use him to do something else. Where are you at, Cheap Cheap? Did I kill you on accident? I think I killed him. Oh, no. He's dead. Look at how they swim together in harmony. Like, they're just, you know, so adorable like that. Right, look at him. He even whacked his tail. For what reason? I don't know. That's like their version of the Bieber hair flip. They just, you know, give you a little spin like that. I can't even do it out of the, the water. Oh, no. Okay. Do it again. There you go. This. Oh, yeah, there you go. They got to give you, like, a nice little flip. They whack their tails or something. I mean, it's obviously for speed. Well, not really. It's just to protect themselves. Have you ever seen, like, uh, a school of fish swimming together? It's 
so mesmerizing same thing with like a flock of birds man it is so mesmerizing because they just fly and swim in harmony and by flying i mean the birds fly not the fish I've n i mean you sometimes see flying fish oh i was gonna say on uh there's this show that i was watching it's called uh strange events and it talks about i don't know if that's actually what it's called but it's on netflix it talks about weird events that take place on earth and uh one of those episodes that was literally a place in on earth where it would rain fish that was crazy to me like people were on the beach man and it was raining fish fish were literally falling from the sky and you know i was thinking at first man this must be a godsend like you know he's making it rain fish but it actually was um i think i think it was had to do something with like massive waves that ended up uh I don't know actually what it was. It was massive waves that ended up like, you know, moving fish out of the water into the sky and then, you know, they'd fall down. It was some weird phenomenon like that. Like there was a scientific explanation to it, you know. So, I mean, it was a miracle, but there was a scientific reasoning behind it as well. So that the, 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 the people of that town were quite happy, I would say, you know, they had fish for days and they were eating great, you know. Fish is one of the most exquisite types of meat, you know, I like it. It's just, you know, just soft meat. It's delicious. If you're a vegetarian, you won't know what I'm talking about, but it's good meat. I like fish, especially like salmon, you know, those kinds of meats. It's delicious, bro. I'm making myself hungry. I'm really hungry as of the time that I'm recording this video. I always do this to myself. It's literally a torture. Recording videos while you're uh, hungry is just, it's not a good combo, man. But I, I was talking too much, so I wasn't explaining what I was doing right now. So, there was a, uh, a lady down there. She wanted to, you know, I guess plant a seed or something. So, we're here for the job. We are going to help this young lady plant her seed. And we got this golden acorn, which is at the beginning of the lake kingdom. You want to make sure you go all the way back and take this root. Don't swim with it underwater. Some people have done that. And by people, I mean my brother did that. And let's just say he had a hard time making it to her. I mean, he, he it wasn't really a hard time, but he could have made it in a much more efficient manner by literally not doing what he did. Just taking it around this way. And then you want to just go ahead and throw it inside of this and then come back to it later. You know, you plant a seed and you reap its reward after some time. You don't get it right away. Otherwise, that would be kind of cheap. You know, it's just, it, do, it wouldn't make much sense. So I'm going to save that one for a bit. What I'm going to do now is I'll probably actually do this one. There's one of these. Uh, there's one, two, three, four different Cappy challenges, three of which give you two power moons. And then one of them will give you one power moon. And I'm going to save the most tedious one for the end. There's two of them. I don't actually know which one's more tedious, but we'll find out, I guess, in this episode, which one I can clear through faster. But this one's pretty fun. You just got to use the zipper power ability you can even be a zipper man i know this is crazy you can't what is if something's not wearing a hat then clearly you can possess it but if it's wearing a hat then you can't so most everything in this game you could possess except these goombas you can't possess them because you know they're bugs you don't want to be a yellow goomba trust me they're not that cool they don't smell good either i mean i could only imagine dude they're just they're like wild animals pre pretty much so they probably don't even smell that great either so there's actually a power moon up there. So what you want to do here is you want to do the cappy bounce, get over this way. And then you're going to unzip this side. And then the second one is going to be the, oh no, actually, I don't know if I'll be able to do it. I mean, I'll be able to do it, obviously, but I don't know if I'll be able to get back. You want to unzip yourself like that. Take the leap of faith. You got to believe in yourself, man. Super secret zipper. That's right. We found the super secret zipper. But what was I saying at the beginning of this episode? Oh, yeah, we're not going to be able to beat this entire kingdom in this one video. And you guys will see why. Uh, the main reason, actually, is, like I said, because of the other kingdoms uh, needing the outfits for them. So, I mean, it's fine. I'll probably just come back and do them whenever I beat the entire game. Just save it for the end of the game or something like that. That way, we have something to do at the end of the game. We'll just come back and do all the other stars. Uh, oh, there I go again with the stars, man. I mean the moons. With all the moons that need backtracking or whatever. That's pretty cool. I actually like how they did that because they give you an incentive to revisit kingdoms. I love that concept a lot. And I love how they hid power moons for kingdoms and other kingdoms like that. It's so dope. But I'm going to literally 
mass murder all these Goombas, dude. I feel so bad. I really do. But it was either me or them. They were gonna kill me either way, so... It's a good thing that I killed them like that, you know? They, 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 they died a very painless death. I don't know, man. You know, sometimes my friends will be like, So, would you rather uh, die this way or that way? Then you think about it, and it's like, man... Any kind of death is bad. Like, unless you die in your sleep... I don't know what kind of death you're expecting to get. That's just not going to be bad, you know? Everything in my books, I feel like, is bad. You know, except for dying in your sleep. But then again, like, that also sounds terrifying. Because you go to bed and then you just never wake up. That's just, that's scary to me. So, I don't know how I'd rather die. But those Goombas, I hope they uh, they had an easy journey. You know, all the way down to the bottom of that pit or whatever it was. And, uh, you know, hopefully it's not on Mario's conscience weighing him down. But there's this thing, dude. This is so tedious, bro. This is like you possess this block and you're supposed to try to figure out how to, you know, put it in that stone. But I think, I think I'll be able to do it. I mean, the whole idea of doing this is to literally just, you know, constantly. Oh, no, no, no. Go back that way. You gotta just, you know, flip it in a manner. Okay, not like that. I guess you gotta do it like this. Flip it that way. Alright, so I think I got it. You gotta do it like that. There you go. Oh, yeah, I... Oh my gosh, I did it! Wow! Dude, this is just like... My, my mind was just doing its own thing and my fingers were moving on its own, doing their own thing, and I managed to do a successful repair job. It might actually not be that hard, because the first time I did it, I was like, okay, what am I doing? So I exited out, restarted it, did it again, and it took me, like, about a minute to figure it out. Just like now, like, I was shocked when I did it. I was like, okay, like, I'll take it. I won't complain about this, so I'll definitely accept the, the, the victory there, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm glad, I'm thankful for that. But now we're moving on to the next set of thingamajigas. And, uh, by the way, I don't have all of the coins here. I actually have 10 left that I need to grab. So, we'll be getting those as well in this episode. Don't you worry, children. We got you guys. We're gonna 100% this, at least, by getting the coins. Let's see. Nope, we already got those coins. Obviously, I did, man. They're so easy to find. So, what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and make your way over this way. As you can see, there's one of these trampoline things. You wanna jump on that. And there's a cappy door in here. Now, this one is pretty cool. I actually really like this uh, this one. There's a couple of coins as well on this one as well. So, uh, you wanna go ahead and just slide down on the wall with Mario. Watch out for the fuzzies, dude, because they will hurt you. And you don't want that. So, actually, I can make it to this side if I really wanted to. And then just spin my way around here grab one two three so i have seven more coins remaining i wonder where they would be at all right i swear i didn't do anything he just let go yeah i was just moving and then i stopped i just i guess i hesitated because i didn't want to like automatically keep going without knowing if the block was there and yet i screwed me up that's the only thing about, like, this in particular one that kind of sucks. But you could still do it. You'll be able to get it for sure. All right. So this part is probably the most tedious part because you have to get past these fuzzies literally without getting touched by them. But, hey, I did it. Very nice. Okay. So it wasn't as bad as I made it out to be. I'm going to do this again. You know, I'm going to get a better bounce. There you go. Reminds me of the uh, the tall brutal. You know, because that's just how you have to beat him. You gotta, you gotta hit his cap and then jump on him. Oh my goodness, dude. I almost fell and died. Alright, so this thing is gonna start moving upwards the moment you grab onto it. So it gives you kind of like a second to adjust, which is pretty nice of them. But you gotta make sure you're not like as far out as I was. I don't know what I was thinking right there, but hey. You know, you gotta fail a little bit to be able to, 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 to learn from your mistakes once and for all i don't know what i'm saying dude but i'm gonna i'm gonna get this done this time i'm not gonna fail no more fills all right woohoo we don't even need those two blocks bricks i was gonna i don't know what i was gonna say right there but we're just gonna go this way all right we're, oh come on again i was too hasty my problem is i get impatient whenever i start losing i just get very impatient and hasty and then I know it's a problem, because I know that I'm just getting annoyed. But not in this case. I'm actually not getting that annoyed. 
Um, I'm still cool. You know, it takes about a good million retwise. Retwi what? Oh, no! Come on, dude! All right, guys, I'm back. And you know what? Since I said I was going to leave, I didn't die once. It's funny how it works, dude. But here we go. Oh, no. Okay, so once you make it all the way up to the top, you want to go ahead and just wait here. Do not move because, like I said, two power moons here. And obviously, this one's going to be hidden on top of that. It's just how it always is. I actually knew that this is what it was, you know, the first time I played it. I, actually, funny enough, I saw my friend Tommy play this first, but it just makes perfect sense that it would be over here. You know, you don't really need to know this or be told where it is. It's just common sense. You know, that they would hide it up on that. I don't know why, but it just is, man. So let's go ahead and woohoo! I was supposed to use the the propeller ability to be able to grab them. Like all those coin holes. I mean, I definitely needed them after all those deaths. But at least I have a positive number of coins rather than a negative number. That's always a good thing. So let's go ahead and bring out my boy Bowser here. Let's see where he can uh, locate some of these coins for us. Because I actually don't know where I left those coins. I bet you they're going to be in the most petty spots. Um, Alright, let's take a look. Where, is, where are you aiming me at? Bowser, where are you aiming me at, brother? I don't see any purpleness. I don't see any purple circles. Purple circles, where are you? Are you serious? They would literally... They should be giving me like a sign at least. But there's literally no signs. All right, whatever. Let's just, you know, swim away. I bet you I'll find them eventually. Because this game is not helping me out whatsoever. You would think they would have given me some kind of direction. But they're not, dude. What about this way? Are you guys going to give me anything? This way, maybe? This way? This way, maybe? Are you serious, game? You're really going to do this to me right now? Okay, there you- Finally, I get some sort of direction, man. This is crazy. They should at least have it, like, pointing in a direction. Okay, there they are. Where are they, though? Dude, I was just up there. I was literally over there, man. And they, I didn't see any purple circles. Well, that's just cray-cray, man. Oh, they're in the wall. That's right. There's actually a power moon as well in the wall. So, I've totally forgot about that one. Yeah, you know, just sometimes, you know, you just forget about the the most simple of power moons. But that's just because they're so simple, you know? Alright. Oh, yeah, actually, never mind. This one, I believe, was all the way hidden in the back. But we're going to just do this anyways, just to double check to see if we did it. Because I'm pretty sure we did. But I just want to double check to make sure that I did. Oh, no. Alright, there you go. There you go. All right, let's see. Did I get it? Yep, I already got that one. So I figured, but I just never noticed the crack back here. I should have realized that considering, you know, there's literally, um, like, this thing went through the wall. So that was four of them. And that makes sense because when you have seven remaining, it's like that doesn't make any sense. Usually there's, it's either it would be three or three or one or four and three. So the last three are literally bundled up together somewhere. All right, come on, use Bowser. Just do it. I don't like how you have to reuse the amiibo literally every single time you want to, like, find some power moons. Uh, okay, so it's telling me it's over there. I bet you. I bet you. Oh, I bet you, I bet I know where they are. Yep, they're literally inside the zipper. I could have sworn I got these ones, but I guess I didn't. I just probably skipped over them when I played the game for the first time. Oh, there they are! The last three! Very nice, dude! Since we're here at the Odyssey, we might as well switch out, because you need to wear your outfit to get one Power Moon specifically. And uh, it's a pretty easy one. I mean, they give it to you practically for free, just like all other ones. But you need to wear this swim gear. And I guess I'll just beat the rest of the episode with the swim gear. Why the heck not? It doesn't really matter, I guess. And then after that, I really don't know how many moons we have left. So there's 42. We're going to get one, two, three. Um, hmm. Wait, what else is that? There's that one, and then there's that one. Okay, and then the rest, I don't know if we'll be able to get in this episode. So we might have to just, you know, get them in the next one. Or not in the next one, but when we beat the game. I'll have to look them up just to see exactly which ones they are. Because there's literally a few that we don't get yet. Okay, so we're back here. 
Oh, this thing still hasn't been, you know, hatched. I could have sworn at this point it would have been hatched, but it's not. But you want to talk to her. She'll be like, hey, how's it going? Blah, blah, blah. You want to see the lock lady dress that Princess Peach was wearing? Yeah, I want to see it. Where is it? Oh, it's over there. Hey, it's the lock lady dress. So pretty. Not as pretty as, uh, you know, as it was when it was on Peach. But go ahead and grab the power moon right there. Hey, give me the power moon. Gosh dang it. I feel underdressed. I really do. When you stand next to that, even as a guy, I definitely feel underdressed, man. Like, I'm not dressed for the occasion. Even these mermaids, they're dressed very fancily. That's not even a word, is it? But they're dressed pretty nicely. They got, like, these, you know, scales for dresses. It's pretty dope. All right, gonna talk to her and just buy the rest of this stuff, you know, since we have the exact number of coins that we need. Get the sticker, get the plush, or the dory plushie, get the snow glow, why the heck not. 25 coins, I hope you're happy. I just gave you all my gold. You're welcome. See you later. What about you? What do you have to say? Do I, did I buy the power moon here? I did. Okay, so I don't need that. All right, let's take a look at the uh, things that we have. So, um, there's number seven. I can grab that one. Um, number nine is the, is the, what is the, number nine is the, the one that I'm waiting on for the, the seed. Okay, number 26 is the, I believe, the... Man, the Cascade Kingdom, my brain is just stopping today. Number 27 is one that I can't get right now. At least I don't think. Um, and then number 29, I can't get it in this episode. Number 30, I can't get it in this episode. 31, I can't get it in this episode. Uh, 37, what is 37 again? 37, okay, hold on. I'm trying to think of 30. Oh, okay, I, I just remember two that I can grab right now. And they're actually extremely similar, funny enough. So, this one you want to actually make your way... I guess we'll make your... I don't actually know where I want to go, dude. What's the easiest way of doing this? Probably just going up this way. I just take the old-fashioned route, why not? I mean, we're already all the way up here. We might as well just continue swimming this way. Alright, so... Um... Let's just jump on this thing. No, no, Mario, get up on here, dude. Dude, surprisingly, this has taken us a lot longer than I would have thought. Like, considering how short this kingdom is, I would have thought it would have, you know, been a much quicker process. But I think these ladies want to see different uh, outfits from you. So we want to come back to them once we actually have the outfits, you know, for those specific kingdoms. But up here, there is a power moon. Very nice. So that was a pretty easy one to grab. And then there's literally another one very similar to that one. You just swim down here. And then it's going to be on this broken pillar. You want to go ahead and ground pound this pillar right here that you see in front of your face. Ground pound it. And you get yourself a power moon. Very nice. And then what else was there? Um, I think that was it that we can grab right now. So let me do the math. I just got to make sure that there's only four that I can't get. I mean, technically, I could do the Cascade Kingdom one. But I'm just going to wait for that one since... You know, we're going to leave the kingdom anyway. So there's one. I wonder if that thing is done yet. I hope it's done. Please tell me it's done. Oh, it's done. I think it's done. I can see a seed. Is it done? It's not done. Gosh dang it, dude. It's taking forever. All right. So we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, plus that one, six, and then seven and eight. All right. That's not bad. So we're going to do... So we'll have literally one, two, three. So we'll have five remaining at the end of this. But still, that, that, that leaves a couple unanswered. It's whatever. You know what? I'll figure it out on my own time. Eventually, I'll be able to figure them out. Because I'll have to look at the guide and see exactly which ones that I'm missing. It's just tough to know them off the top of your head like that. But here we go. We're just going to go ahead and take care of this tedious one right here, right now. This is literally, in my opinion... The hardest power moons to get in this entire kingdom. But thankfully, I was able to play it enough that I think I have enough practice to be able to do it. So, um, you want to use this frog. And the your best friend is going to be your shadow, literally. Your shadow is pretty much determines how far you've leaped and whatnot. So, you want to make sure that you use your shadow as like kind of an adjustment thing. Okay, there you go. 
All right, not bad actually at all. We made the past the first part without dying once, which is pretty good. Now, as you can see, over there is the power moon, and then over there is the key. You want to get both of those things. So we'll go ahead and grab the first power moon, obviously, and then we'll get the key. So the idea here is to oh my goodness, I screwed that up. All right, so I'm gonna just wait. I'm gonna wait for that thing to. All right, there you go. I'm gonna just take it one by one. See, I did it before where I leaped two at a time, but doing that, oh my goodness! I tried flipping, but then I jumped, and then I just didn't know what I was doing. I was so indecisive with what I wanted to do, and it it killed me. It's fine though. It's all good. We can do this. I believe in myself. Woohoo! All right, land on this. Very nice. All right, move over. All right, I'm gonna wait for this thing to come over. Very nice. You wanna just hold down Y as well. I feel like just jumping naturally is not good because the frog unfortunately does not leap that far. He jumps high, but he doesn't leap far, uh, which is crazy considering he's a frog, man, and they made a game after leapfrog, you know? Leapfrog, leap. All right, and we're gonna, oh, the flip. See, the flip is pretty good. All right, so now I'm gonna jump land on this block all right and then i'm gonna jump as the poison literally passes over oh gosh this is not good i don't know why i did that oh gosh i'm surprised i lived dude i'm literally shocked that i lived all right and then make it all the way here so you could also just get out of the frog and then do the cappy jump all the way across but that's just killing a frog man what did this poor beast do to us absolutely nothing for him to die like what was you know the reason he dies there was no reason it was just we'd be killing him for absolutely no reason oh my goodness oh my goodness dude i do not know how i lived that bro like for real i should have died then and there but thankfully i lived all right i'm gonna just flip Woohoo! and then the easy part is now you just make your way back so since the uh we're going back the same way the poison's coming it's it's pretty easy to make it across so actually that wasn't that bad that was pretty easy it's because I practiced it, you know? Oh, my goodness. I'm trying to save your life, frog. I don't want you to die. That's why I'm bringing you back to the platform. You're trying to jump off into the poison, you crazy goon. So, this is actually really eating me up. I want to figure out which power moon I'm missing. Obviously, I already know I'm missing that ninth one. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So, there's five more. I know four of them, but I don't know one of them. What is the other one that I'm missing? Okay, guys, I figured it out. I remember exactly what it is. So there are five power moons. I could get one of them now, which I most likely will end up doing. But um, actually, I'll most likely just save it for the next episode or something like that. I mean, whenever we come back and finish off this kingdom, I'll finish it off 100%. So there's five power moons remaining. I'll go ahead and let you know exactly which power moons they are. So there's obviously the three outfit power moons, which you need specific outfits for. You show them the outfits, they'll give you a power moon. So that's three. There is the uh, the one in Cascade Kingdom with the picture that we got over there. You go ahead and just follow the, the picture and it'll give you one. And then the 26th power moon is the one that I actually don't know what it is because it's not in the guide but i figured it out so in this game there is a kingdom that's going to have a poster and it could be any kingdom at random from what i read any kingdom will have this poster it varies between game to game it's not necessarily the same thing in everyone's game so you go ahead and find this picture it leads you back here and then you get yourself a power moon or i don't know if it leads you back here necessarily it just gives you a power moon specifically for this kingdom and that's something that i guess i'll have to find out as i explore the game because i don't know necessarily where it's at some people said it was in sand kingdom for me, I checked Sand Kingdom, it wasn't there. Or not Sand Kingdom, but uh, the Snow Kingdom. The poster that I got in the in the Snow Kingdom was actually for the Cascade Kingdom. So, I hope that made sense. But we pretty much beat off this kingdom 100%. Uh, only five more Power Moons, which we'll come back to and do it at the end of the game. But I I'm going to go ahead and think I beat it 100%, like I said, you know. Because we technically did. So, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode where we make our way to the next kingdom of this game. Peace out.